Yes. Okwefo. Ok, you see, you human beings, you men that go and start looking for small, small girls to marry. You better stop it. You see, you, 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 I don't want to call you pedophiles because an 18 year old is considered an adult. If you, if you, if, if, if you know your self esteem cannot allow you to speak to a woman who is closer to your age. Or... So, hi everyone, and how are you doing this beautiful 21st day of our Lord 2023? of December 2023. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So I remember I told you guys that I wasn't planning. I, was going, I wasn't sure I was going to be um, filming um, this period, um, basically because of the Yuletide season. Um, but this is a subject that I had to, I had to do this because this is something that is, many of you know, is quite personal to me. And so, you know, I decided to record this video. I even put up a post about it on Instagram. So if you don't, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, do well to follow me on Instagram. Do well to follow me on all my social media networks. You know, boom. And so I decided, I decided to talk about Emeka Ike and his testament, you know, concerning, you know, the exaggerated um, account he gave about his life and the role his wife um, played. Now, you see, I'm Nigerian. And so because I'm Nigerian, I have to make some things quite clear. One, domestic violence is pretty much a thing in Nigeria. Two, no one takes it seriously, not even the government. Cases that are reported, um, usually, especially with the police, they are the most flippant. I'm sorry, they are the most flippant in this affair. Except when you have to go through organizations who actually held, help you handle it, you know, with the help of the law. Um, domestic violence, sexual abuse, these are issues that are ongoing and no one is taking it seriously. In fact, we have people who pander, you know, to abusers, okay, a lot. We've seen on this side of the planet where, you know, where someone who's accused of sexual abuse or even domestic violence is automatically, you know, ostracized, you know, until, you know, proven otherwise. Um, in my country, no, in fact, we glorify them. And the, I am not saying this lightly. I am, in fact, I am very, very upset. And so Emeka Ike, for the longest time, this is going on uh, more than 20 years, um, had been on this, um, you know, campaign about his wife and the demon she is and the witch that she was and all whatnot. Now, all the while this man had been, you know, um, going on, this is my first time ever addressing anything about Emeka Ike or any or many or any Nigerian, let me use the word, prominent Nigerian actor, and I have reasons why. Now, first of all, I have to make you guys understand that I am, if you don't know, I am an excellent communicator. I am a professor. And by virtue of that, I have been able to hone in on my communication skills very, very well. 10 plus years experience in teaching, lecturing, you name it. And in the course of those years, communication has, um, is, it's a skill that you would have and you need in this job. And communication doesn't only have to do with, you know, what you say or what, or how you, you know, or just speaking. No, communication is actually saying exactly what you want your audience, okay, to understand saying exactly what you mean. But communication is also what you are not saying. Okay? That is also communication. Communication is also what you're not saying. Communication is also body language. Communication is a lot of these things. And so, for the longest time, even when he, um, as an actor, I can't remember, off the top of my head, I can't remember many of his movies. I've never 
I've always had this, um, you know, I've always had this notion that this guy was quite violent. I don't know, but this is that has always been. That was what I have been re, what, what I have read for the longest time um, about him. In his and this is just from movies. I'm not even talking about personal. This is just from his movies. I I've seen him as someone who's actually violent, and most times in movies when he acts, there is this thing he does with his body, and I honed in on that movement. He does it almost in every movie, and I honed in on that movement. Um, Emeka Ike speaks Yoruba more than he speaks Igbo, so na Lagosian, a Lagos boy, he grew up as a Lagosian. Now. When he had his interview on, wasn't it on? Um, when he had his interview on Chan on uh, no, it's, it's not channels. What's the name of that? Um, oh gosh! When he's had when he's when he had his interview. Just excuse me for a moment. I will get the information I'm looking for. Yes, when he had it was on Channel's television. He had his interview. He talked about um, his marital issues got him depressed. Let me tell you, that in all honesty, when he was talking, I saw that I saw that headline. It popped up on my timeline, and the first thing that came into my mind was he learned new language that he can use. That was the first thing that came into my mind. He learned new vocabulary. I'm telling you that he learned new vocabulary that he could use. I hadn't even watched it. And that was my first, you know, judgment. Sorry. Then I watched it. And bam. You see, listen to Mekaike speak. And this is not about, um, and this is not me trying to be condescending. No, listen to Mekai's case speak, speak. Yeah. He's not the first actor in Nigeria. Shegu Arinze is there. There's, um, there's Iniedo. There's so many of them. And then when you listen to them speak, you listen to Mekai case speak. You guys, you make your, you know, make your opinion. And so when I listened to channels television, I knew, I said, ah, new vocabulary has been learned to be able to use, to get people to actually, you know, I've never for one moment pandered to this guy. You see, one of the things that my country, people in my country, Nigeria, have learned over, the over time is the first person that cries wolf must be believed, should be believed. And when it comes to marital issues, I have seen both humans, rats, hyenas, all, all you know, go tearing at one party. The party that they feel, you know, they um, spoke to their sentiments. And sentiments, what I mean is, we have people who hate men, then they will, you know, if it's something about a woman who has, it is those people definitely will be able to garner, you know, her, you know, they'll be able to garner their sympathy. Now, if it is for women, you'll find people who pander to them and garner sympathy. That is how it works. And so when I, when, when um, I listened to him, and I listened to Nigeria speak from the first day Emeka Ike spoke. The timeline, I've seen people on Instagram. Blah, 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 da, 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 because of course, um, there is this, there are this group of people who have decided that one, the institution of marriage is a taboo. Two, that fear women. Three women are not to be trusted. They are this group of people. And they are this also group of people who have decided that men are Excuse my language. But no one looks into things crucially. 
You see, I'm one of those people, when it comes to married couples or relationship, one person cannot speak without the presence of the other. Nah. Mm -mm. You see, two of them must be present. When you come to couples, okay, if two of them are not there to speak for themselves, this person is dead, and you as the arbiter, because between couples, you have to be very, very clear. You can't get in between, but that you two of them must be there. You see, in marriage counseling, no marriage counselor does, you know, one, a one-sided counseling, never. Any marriage counselor that is doing, I will see the husband and I will see the wife, is a lie. That person... Throw, throw their card. In fact, tear it, burn it, and throw it away. It doesn't work. And so for years, Emeka Eke had been on, on every national TV newspaper, you name it, slandering this woman. Now, I have to warn you guys, this video is going to be long, okay? But I have a lot to say. And so any human being that could think and, you know, you name it, he was always there. And I kept asking this woman, where is she? Is she still alive? And then a miracle happened. I want to give a shout out to Chude. You see, Chude is one of those people that when he speaks, when he comes on air, I love his calm. Listen, I am far from a calm person. But you see, when I see people who are calm, I love it. You know why? Because it centers me. My husband, my husband is my opposite, my direct opposite. I am not calm. My husband is. And so the energy I feed off from his energy of calmness. You see, as couples, that's what it's supposed to be. Our energy is supposed to be in sync. And so the miracle of Chude, shout out to you, happened. And Chude came on air. It was a premiere. Unfortunately, I couldn't be on top of that premiere because, you know, I mean, it's Christmas. My son's birthday is actually on the 24th. So between baking and cooking and all whatnot, right now he's with his friends in his room, you know. And so I couldn't jump on the premiere. And lo and behold, I sat down. I, I listened to her um, this morning. I listened to her this, this morning and I sat down and I watched and I looked and I listened. When I say I listened, I listened. That woman did not skip. She did not skip. She did not skip a bit. No, she went and she was so calm, you see. In, 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 in Nigeria, they will always say, no be by, no be by gra gra. That means, you know, it's not all the, it's not all the, it's not about the theatrics. She did not skip a beat and she kept, and she gave it word for word. But what I'm going to stick to and what I'm going to bring out of this conversation is, Okwefo, you see, you human beings, you men that go and start looking for small, small girls to marry. You better stop it. You see, you, 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 I don't want to call you pedophiles because an 18 year old is considered an adult. If you, if you, if, if, if you know your self-esteem cannot allow you to speak to a woman who is closer to your age or older, forget about it. You can be a bachelor. Nobody's going to kill you. After all, there are women that have concerned with themselves with the fact that they don't even want to have, get married. Stay by on your lane. Don't go and look for people that you can manipulate because that was exactly what this man did. He picked her up. She's fair, you know, on our chocha. She's light-skinned, 18 years. Looking at her, you will see she's a very beautiful woman. You will see she's calm, but she's not evil. You see, there were things she said that I resonate with. And I resonate with them because I've heard them before. 
I've heard them before from certain demographics. When you are not a set a particular tribe, we've seen it play out in Nigeria so many times. Either the ones who are saying omoiboni, or the ones that will tell you no nyon femmano. You already have your bias over another person's child. You see, I want to also give a shout out to Pastor Jimmy Odukoya. You see, I'm married today it was because of his mom. And I listened to him speak yesterday. And there was something he said that resonated with me. He said, if you're a man and you go to take a girl's hand from her father, he said, if you are not ready to die for your wife, he said, forget about marriage. I pick that up. That is someone who is speaking facts. You don't go pick up a woman from her father and her mother and you decide that because, because, just because you have the right to insult, maltreat, and abuse. Who told you that? Onye Kebo. I believe her. As much as I want to keep myself on the fence, I believe her. You took her and made sure that she was dependent on you. See, this is classic DV style. This is classic. Keep her redundant. Don't let her be anything. Don't let her do anything. Make sure she's eating, breathing. Everything is about you. Emeka Ike cannot string a full sentence. Yeah. He can't string a full sentence without making errors. I listened to this girl. The girl, she went to school. She's a graduate. Emeka Ike, I don't know. I don't know. I listened to this woman speak. It was, it was pretty obvious that she's a smart person. How this man stopped her. And, and I'm sorry, um, I'm going to put the links of the videos here. If time permits, I would make, you know, I would put in snippets of videos in my video so that you can actually watch them. If you want to, I'll also put the links in. This dude talked about the fact that his house or his school costs 480 million. There was something the wife said. He said in the big, she said in the beginning, he said it was 100 million. In so 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 year, it was 250 million. Now this year is 280 million. He checked out. I'm going to put Augusta Gold. Child, shout out to you, girl, for doing the, 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 the research on this. He checked out. Yeah, he checked out. She was right. And so I'm looking at you know, a whole human being, a husk of a man who comes out on air. Not only did he abuse his wife, he slanders her, has been, you know, he has been um, stalking her. And then he's lying on national TV. Why? Because she's done with Because he can't reach her anymore to hurt her the way he has been. You see, that's the thing about narciss narcissistic and abusive men. When the things they do fly over your head, you're not, it, it's dropping. It angers them. And so they look for more, you know, they look for more to punch. They want to hit so that they will get a response from you. He did get a response from her. Yes. But you know what I love? She did it calculatedly and beautifully. Lovely lady, Suzanne Emma, God bless you. She says, he paid for my school that I'm glad. And I want to make this statement very clear. You are a man 
and you decided to train a girl at school in the hopes that you will marry her. I bet kill the idea fast. It's either you train whoever it is you want to train and let the person go, but do not try to manipulate people to your will. If you knew, because from, the, from her account, his plan was to make her feel as worthless as possible. Even though she has been to school, even though she's a graduate, but that she would never see herself as more than him because he made her. Who are you? Who did you make? Are you God? She actually gave a shocker. He's a drug addict. I don't know. But I have suspected for a long time. But, you know, they don't write it on the face. Again, body language. That was what I suspected for the longest time. All right, so I've had to switch. <laughs> I don't know what's up with my, with my, uh, well, it's something, it's, uh, it's something I have to, I have budgeted for already. I'm definitely going to be getting a new camera. Gosh, it's crazy. Anyway, so like I was saying, um, and you know, you realize that, you know, this guy is doing drugs. Like I said, you know, body language. I, I, I didn't know. I listen to the sun. My fear, my worry will always be kids. You see, children acting as a buffer in a home where there is abuse and domestic violence, it's, it's, it's worrisome. You worry about their mental health. You worry about what it would be like. And you see, again, he kept, you see, the funny thing is that he kept killing himself at every turn because he spoke. He spoke. He was giving his time. He spoke. And then the son said something. He said, I looked for my father to reconcile and to understand and bring my parents together. And then he said, I saw this interview. If he's that young to know, now this is, I mean, when all this, when his father started, this, he was still a baby. Now he's old enough, he sees his father in action. That was his first signal. Mekaike said that his wife took his kids from him, blah, 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 blah. Mm. We listen to the boy again say that he hated his mother. Because she, he didn't understand why she was not there with them. Because their father told them that she went away with men. And Mekaike said that um, the kids, um, I don't have my children. I don't have this. I have not seen them. Um, that they, there was, um, oh gosh, I will have to put it inside. Oh, my father. I need to, I can't be forgetting stuff like this. Um. He, that, uh, he said, um, that because it, what, when he said it, I, I was able to make the connection very quickly. Just give me a second, guys. There's a lot to cover for. Man, I was haunted like, like a rabbit. Gone. Uh, then he talks about blackmail. Nobody was blackmailing him. It's his conscience and his guilty conscience and his fear and his rumor mongering. That was all that was pursuing him. He said it was his wife that she got herself entangled with blackmailers. You see my statements. Marks me when my house is night this afternoon. Oh, six men came to my house the other night. Oh, some men came with gone. Not jokes. Then I was after the Rizé. Because then as, as Good. a human rights activist. Good. This is something I was going to get on fast. I don't want to forget this. For the sake of time, I'm really sorry. But I have to say this. You come on national TV and said 
where is Ebuka? If I had seen Ebuka, I've been hunting for Ebuka because I want to kill him. I will kill him. You say it again about your fellow actor. If anybody listening to you, because when I heard that, when he said that, I, I shuddered. I'm like, why would someone use the word kill so easily? And he said so. And then here we, on national TV, he opens his mouth and he says that I will kill him. If I see a buka, I will kill him. And if, if that doesn't tell you something, that this person is naturally a violent person, He's someone who has no control over the openings in his body, be it mouth, be it the nose, be it his uh, buttocks. He's got no control over any opening in his body. Anything goes, wah. I, I, th th you see, when God says it's time eh, for shame to shame the shameless, nothing can remove it from them. Nothing can remove, nothing. Because this one he has done, as Augusta Gold said, God bless her. She said, rather than you do your comeback and come back and assume, Le Francais said, if for as you may, for as you may, if for as you may, rather than come out and assume and take up your responsibility and where you went wrong, you decided to still slander. Men, the other day I talked about a video where the success of a woman, it was a video, it was a reaction video, but I'm going to do a video on that again. This time, no video reviews. I'm going to do a video on why a woman's success will remain a threat. A woman's success, a successful woman will always remain a threat to lily-livered husks of men. And please don't get me wrong. I'm in no way bashing men. No, I don't do that. I just say the things that I've seen because I will tell you I'm married to one of the most amazing human beings ever. I listen to Fumi, Fumi de Salubo. That's well. Most times when she speaks, I feel like it's my twin talking. Because I, she says things I've passed through. And here, here I am and here we are. So I, I, you see, the video I did, the last one with Cardi B, I said something. I said, listen to what a man is not saying. You see, that is something people need to hone, women, you need to hone in on that. And it's not just men. Generally, what is this person not saying? There are certain things, there are certain actions someone does. There are certain things people do, say, act. Because they say action speaks louder than words. What is this person not saying? And this is something we need to be listening to. Because when somebody is not saying something, that is exactly what they are saying. Emeka Ikes used the word kill on Ebuka and Shagwarinze. I understood immediately that what he is saying is that I am a violent man to anybody. What he is not saying is that I can't be trusted. What he is not saying is that I'm a crazy person. What he's not saying is that I have blamed, I am blaming every other person but myself for my problems in life. What he's not saying is he's an abusive man. I'm sorry. I'm going to, I really want to talk. I want to really delve deep into this, you know, because I, I wept. Oh God, I wept for that woman yesterday. I wept. I cried. I cried for her because I understood. I I seriously understood everything she was saying. I did. I did. I understood to the letter that if she did not leave when she left, he would have killed her.
on this note, guys, I'm going to stop this video here. And what I want to say is this, especially to my fellow Nigerians. I think it's time for, you, for, for us to wear our thinking caps. It's, many of us fail to ask critical questions. That's why we keep on making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Many of us fail to take time. You, know, you see, growth has nothing to do with age. Growth has a lot to do with self-reflection. What did I do in the past that I could have done differently? What would have, what could, what, given the opportunity again, what would I do or what would I change? If I spoke like a mad person before, how can I speak better so that I'm not assumed to be mad, but then whatever it is I'm saying can be heard? I think this is, this is my message to Nigerians. Because enough. And as for you, Emekaike, you need help. I don't know the therapist you saw. <laughs> I don't know the psychiatrist you went to meet. But if they saw you and they did not see your wife, mm -mm, the job is hard. See, they didn't even start the work. You need help. Serious help. You don't own her. She's free. She's her person. She's divorced you. Move on. Get a handle on your life. Put yourself in order. Go pay up your debt. Leave her alone. She has left you alone. Leave her alone. And this is where I'm going to end this video, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and an amazing new year. Let's keep away from toxicity and toxic people. Let's make changes, changes that are going to be amazing for us, for our mental health and well-being. Do not fail to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And like I promised, I'm gonna leave links. If I can, I will try to put in video, um, the video snippets. Please, please bear with me because I jumped on this um, video quite, you know, without a lot of, I mean, between baking and, and I'm here, please. And then that's it. Before I go, yes, I keep on forgetting that I fail to always talk to you about my clothes. Now, um, I, um, usually you will, in most of my videos, you will not hear me talk a lot about, um, the clothes I wear, not because I don't well not not the clothes i wear but where they come from not because um, i don't know but because most of my clothes i have them made i do shop in stores here okay but not all the time i usually i have i'm nigerian and for the longest time i've always preferred that the clothes i wear are made for me i just love them that is i go fabric hunting i have tons and tons and tons of fabrics that i'm still yet to because i'm still you know trying to you know figure out how to um not figure out but you know get them done because i mean i'm not the only clients i've got lots of people who they are attending to you know but personally i you know enjoy i love having my clothes made so if i do have the any ones that i buy from stores definitely i'm gonna like in the last video i forgot i did not even say anything about where i got my shoes or whatever i'm gonna put it in the comment section of the video um in the description box as well so that you can see and again like this one it was made for me by my criteria okay this is my creation this they're all the jewelry they're my creation this was made for me by my criteria on my next video i'll see you guys have a wonderful wonderful holiday bye